Welcome to the homework for grade three, module one, lesson five. Put your name right here. Don't forget it. And uh, I try to keep my videos short, so uh, if I'm rushing it, please pause the video or go back over the parts you want to see again. And of course, feel free to skip ahead as well, if that's what you need to do. Uh, our last lesson four homework, it was uh, looking at groups or arrays. And uh, for division, we knew how many, uh, we knew how many groups we had, and we were dividing to find out how many was, were in each group. And here, sometimes you know how many are in the group, but you don't know how many groups there are. So it'll work either way, and this is just the other way to, to uh, use division. And you'll see how the pictures work out. Number one, divide four triangles into groups of two. So they've already got the picture. They already divided them into groups of two. So we know there's two in every group. And we just have to keep circling groups of two and then count how many there are. And it's really easy because the numbers are small here. There are two groups of two triangles. And now we're on to counting eggs. We've got nine eggs here. And we're going to divide them into groups of three. So there's three, three, and three. There are three groups, so 9 divided by groups of 3 is 3 groups. Uh, numbers 3 and 4, now we're counting buckets. Divide 12 buckets of paint into groups of 3. So there's going to be 3, 3, 3, 3. 12 buckets of paint divided by 3 in each group is 3 groups. Now we're grouping, now number 4, we're grouping squares to show 15 divided by 5 equals, we're going to find out. Where the unknown, the unknown is what we don't know, that's this that we're trying to figure out, represents the number of groups. So we know that there's 5 in each group. We could circle them. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. Um, five in that group, five in this group, and five in that group. Uh, how many groups are there? There's three, so we can just put our three right there. Now, number five, Daniel has 12 apples, and he puts six apples in each bag. Circle the apples. Got to do it to find the number of bags that Daniel makes. We're going to circle groups of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a bag. And then we can see here, this is another. This going to be another six. So there's, right here we have, uh, we've circled the apples. Write a division sentence, so A, write a division sentence where the answer represents the number of Daniel's bags. So we have 12 apples, and we're dividing by 6 in each bag, and then, so the answer is, our, or our quotient, is going to be the number of bags. There's two bags. And if we're going to draw, I'll move this up a little bit. If we're going to draw a number bond to represent this problem, this is going to be one of those total of 12. And we've got a bag of 6 and another bag of 6. Our last one. Jacob draws cats. He draws four legs on. It's Jacob. He draws four legs on each cat for a total of 24 legs. Use a count by to find the number of cats Jacob draws. 
I'll make a drawing to match it. I'm going to do the drawing first. Uh, the count by, you'll see what that is. It's going to be counting by fours because there's four legs on each cat. So he's going to draw cats, and we need 24 legs. So you might already know how many cats you need, but I'm just going to draw cats. I'm going to draw a body of a cat. One, two, three, four. There's a four. These are all going to have four. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight legs. 9, 10, 11, 12 legs, 13, 14, 15, 16 legs, 17, 18, 19, 20 legs, and we need one more cat, 21, 22, 23, 24 legs, so they, okay, each one of these, these are all fours, right? And now the uh, the count by is going to be, we start off with four, and then four more is going to be eight, and then four more again is 12. And if we add four to that 12, we're going to get 16. And we add four more to that, we get 20. And then we add four more again, and now we have 24 legs. There's our count by. Write our division sentence to represent the problem. We have 24 legs divided by four legs on each cat, and that's going to equal how many cats? That's one, two, three, four, five, six cats, and that's our quotient.